floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, wildfires. Everything can change in an instant when emergencies strike. I'm Ness Murby. I'm a Paralympian. I'm blind. I'm a disaster survivor. And I'm your host for this video series that is your guide to prepare and plan for natural emergencies in Canada. This is your AMI Emergency Series. Risk, plan, kit. How do you stay safe and be prepared for an emergency? Where do we even start? If you're blind or partially sighted, two factors may help direct your emergency planning. First, without your sight, how can you use your other senses to stay safe? Think about what you may hear, like rushing water or roaring flames. What might you smell? An example might be the rotten egg smell of leaking gas or the burnt smell of overheating electrical circuits. And what might you feel? Possibly heat on the walls or water under your feet. Second, focus on the things that are part of your daily routine. The tools, your cane, your glasses, your service animal are just a few examples of what you'll need to have prepared and easily accessible in an emergency. We've broken your steps into three categories, risk, plan, and kit. In this series, we'll take a closer look at how you can prepare for each step. Thinking about how you can engage your senses and tackling how to look at your routine with emergencies in mind. Step one, determining your risks. The place where you live can help you identify the risks you face and help you determine which threats are most likely to occur in your area. For example, earthquakes and tsunamis, hurricanes, avalanches and landslides, floods. And everyone is at risk and should plan for a fire or power outage. Step two, develop a personalized plan. It's important to plan for situations where you may not be able to rely on things you trust every day. Having an extra cane in an accessible place, an exit plan if you can't touch the walls, and thinking about how smells and sounds might change in emergencies are all part of that. Step three, build your kits. To ensure you're prepared, have a variety of emergency kits ready. First, a grab-and-go kit, essentials to take when you have to evacuate quickly. Also, a first aid kit, a home kit, a food preparation plan, and a kit for your service animals and pets, all prepared in advance. Keep your daily routine in mind when preparing your kits, from water and food, to communication information, to medical lists and ID. Don't worry, we break down each of these kits. And remember, while you can't account for everything, you can prepare and mitigate the after effects by what you do before an emergency. The complete AMI emergency series is available to watch on AMI.ca, on the AMI-TV app, and on the AMI YouTube channel.